Oh, it's a national holiday, all right. One that people all around the world can celebrate. Of course, I'm talking about the fact that Zack Snyder hath delivered unto us another trailer for Zack Snyder's Justice League. What'd you think I was talking about? Now, I am really looking forward to this movie. I mean, first of all, yeah, now it is going to be a four hour long movie. They changed that since the first trailer. When the first trailer came out, they told us that it was gonna be a four part miniseries with hour long episodes. I guess they changed their minds. So now this is gonna hold the record for longest superhero movie ever, beating out Avengers Endgame in that capacity. I doubt most people are gonna like it as much, but Anyway, let's talk about this juicy trailer. First off, I gotta say, I still don't like that 4x3 aspect ratio. Again, I don't know if it's actually going to be that way when the movie comes out, or if it's just for the trailer's sake. I actually read that when the movie comes out, there are gonna be like a couple different choices of aspect ratio to choose from? Or, I don't know. I have no idea. It's not the end of the world if this ends up being in 4x3. I'm just saying there are two way better formats in which you could present this movie. Widescreen or full screen. I don't know. I get that Zack Snyder has always been one to be stylistic, and I do like a lot of the style in this trailer, but the 4x3 is not part of that. I'm just saying. So this trailer starts out, and immediately the tone is very different from the first trailer we got. The first trailer was all like, hallelujah, and we're all like, yay, this movie's finally happening. It was hopeful, it was uplifting. Now it's like, God is dead. and the Harbingers of death are gonna come from above and kill us all. It's just funny. It's a cool tone for sure. Zack Snyder even said that there are gonna be hardly any jokes in this movie. Which, alright, thanks for telling us in advance. Now we know what we're in for. We're in for a four hour serious superhero movie full of Zack Snyder style. It's an acquired taste for sure. Interesting thing though is that when you see Superman dying from Batman v Superman, you see the sound waves going out and you hear Superman's like death cry. So it's like his death cry could be heard around the world or something. I guess it makes its way to Themyscira. Cause you see Queen Hippolyta, it looks like she hears it, and you hear Lex Luthor's dialogue going from Batman v Superman. He says, the bell's been rung across the stars, people know now that God is dead. So it's like Superman's death is a signal to other worlds that Earth is ready for a higher form of war. Or at least that's what Darkseid thinks anyway. Darkseid looks really cool right here. Again, I don't know how much of Darkseid we're actually going to see in this. Like, is the main villain in this movie that the Justice League have to fight, is it gonna be Steppenwolf or Darkseid? I'm thinking it is gonna be Steppenwolf, just cause that's who it was in Justice League. But you know, this is a four hour movie and we've really only seen only three or four minutes of footage from it. So who knows how much screen time Darkseid's gonna have. But I do love how Darkseid looks. He's got that armor now with that Omega symbol on it. Classic Darkseid look. He looks mean, he looks evil. He's got backup. I'm really curious about this scene actually. I don't know what this scene is It looks like he's on his home planet because you see the banner in the background with the Omega symbol on it I don't know what that Omega symbol represents Is it like the sign of apocalypse or is it like a symbol for something like Superman's emblem? I don't know I just want to give props to the villains in this trailer I don't know if they're gonna have a lot of depth like Thanos did but just aesthetically they look really cool and they sound cool, too My lord This world will fall Steppenwolf certainly looks and sounds a lot more menacing. Cause no matter what your opinion was on the theatrical cut of Justice League, I'm pretty sure everyone agreed that Steppenwolf was one of the worst aspects of it. He was such a generic villain, it hurt. So in this version of Justice League, I don't know if Steppenwolf is gonna have more depth, but just the fact that he looks and sounds more menacing, plus we see Darkseid, that gives me some hope that the villains are gonna be more fleshed out here. Maybe, possibly. When watching this trailer though, I did notice that there were some shots that were in the theatrical cut. More shots than I thought there would be. Yeah. I've watched it enough times to recognize them. So if for nothing else, there will be some familiarity in this movie. I guess in some aspects, it will follow the same basic outline as Justice League, maybe. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. For me, it's all right, cause again, I did not hate the version of Justice League that we got a few years ago. So cool. And I just love seeing Superman in his black suit, dude. That is just so badass. Seeing him gathering up his energy and taking off and shooting that heat vision, dude. I will be honest, I did really like Superman in Justice League. When he came back and was fighting Steppenwolf, I actually thought that was really cool. Cause he did act a lot like the Superman that I'm familiar with. In this version, I don't know if he's going to be as, you know, fun and friendly. I'm pretty sure to match with the vibe and tone, he's gonna be more serious. Which is fine, I'm not really complaining about it. I think when I do my spoiler talk for Zack Snyder's Justice League, I'll have decided which Superman I like more. So we'll see about that. And at the very end of this trailer, we get a surprise guest. We live in a society where honor is a distant memory. Isn't that right? Batman.
It's the Joker! I'll be honest, I love the fact that Jared Leto's Joker is even gonna be in this. I love the fact that he's getting a second chance, and I love the fact that it's a very different Joker than we had in Suicide Squad. Again, it matches more with Zack Snyder's tone and vibe. More serious, more fatalistic, more stylistic. But people are going crazy over that we live in a society line. I don't know why, I guess it was a meme from a while ago? I never saw it. Yeah, I never saw that society Joker meme. I'm not familiar with it at all. So when people on Twitter were going crazy about it, I was like, where did this come from? I have no idea, but I love it. I love the line. I love Jared Leto's Joker's look here. I especially love how he goes, Batman. It looks like this scene is actually from a dream sequence though, because of how Batman is dressed here. He's wearing that nightmare getup. I don't know if Jared Leto's Joker is going to have any scenes in this movie that are not dream sequences. I hope he does, because I really want to see interaction with Ben Affleck's Batman and Jared Leto's Joker. We've never seen that yet. And this being the DC extended universe for cinema, it's pretty much a must. But who knows? Both trailers we've gotten for Zack Snyder's Justice League so far, they give off a lot of mysterious vibes about the specifics of the plot, which is a good thing. I don't want to know everything about the plot. So yeah, in the end, of course I'm looking forward to Zack Snyder's Justice League still. It's gonna be dark, it's gonna be serious, there are not gonna be a lot of jokes, even though the Joker's in it. And it's coming out pretty soon, just a little over a month from now, March 18th. I better be ready to watch it all in one go, because the day after that is when Falcon and Winter Soldier premieres. Oh boy, March is gonna be a fun time for us. Can't wait! I just still love the fact that Zack Snyder finally gets to show us his true vision for Justice League. This is gonna be Zack Snyder unleashed, and I really gotta thank these trailers for letting me know that in advance. So now we all know. So the official trailer for Zack Snyder's Justice League. Have you watched it yet? What do you think about it? And are you looking forward to it? Or are you like one of the haters who's just like, no, DC movies suck. I don't care what your opinion is as long as you tell me. So whatever you think, go ahead and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe.